Hello everybody, my name is Faced. today we're going to be running some more T5 Abyss and you saw that last time it didn't turn out that well, I died and it was obviously because the DPS was not that great and I wasn't able to apply the DPS out so well so what I said also last time was that we're going to try an MWD to be able to get in range quicker so then we're able to apply our DPS quicker and this will probably make us, help us get the site quicker Oh, done quicker. Also, it'll reduce a lot of the time when we take or travel to the gates, especially when the Charybdis and Bethnic Abyssal Overmind kite at the boundary box. That takes a lot of time. So we're gonna try this out. We're gonna use a agency Pyrolancia dose three, and I'm using a B type MWD. So it's actually it's not really that cheap. Actually, my fit now my fit is probably going for like 900 mils or 800 mils, something like that. So it's not the cheapest fit, but it's also it's a little bit cheaper than the average T5 fit. Many T5 fits often go for over a billion isks. So we're going to try this out. Consume the Pyrolancia and let's go and take on the T5 electric. Let's go, go, go. Mm -hmm. I wonder, the thing is, I wonder how it's going to be in terms of damage application when it comes to the MWD, because we'll have a harder time. We'll be, it'll be easier for the enemy ships to like tackle us. So you know both webs and scramblers are going to affect us so it's not just like oh okay only webs affected us before the afterburner so i'm curious how that's going to go but hopefully it will be turned out great we're going to have we're going to have pretty good capacitor anyway because the mwd is b type so it helps us you know get a bit of extra capacity from that they're really efficient in their capacity usage also just in general the world so it's just amazing when it comes to this capacitor oh you can see here even automatic suppressor that's really nice that we have that going on uh, let's just take out this guy here. Ooh, that went out really fast. You can hover around this deviant automatic suppressor and make stuff go quicker as well. Let's go around lobbing these guys. <laughs> so easy. Yeah, let's see you go for the fog casters actually. Just take out this guy real quick. And just fly. This is so nice with the MWD. We can just jump around, not really care at all. It doesn't really matter. We just fly around. Okay, uh, where is the fog caster? We didn't knock it up. Oh, probably we had full targeting locks, that's why. Okay, actually also my auto target is also targeting them probably. Okay, let's go for this guy here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, we've got the forecast now. Let's go to approach him. The, pro the closer we are, the more damage we're going to do. Okay, let's go with this guy. Approach him. Double click. Webify. And wreck him. Wreck him. We uh, have to be swift. We have to be swift. Time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. It's the broad, so you do not want to... You know, take your time. You have to be fast. You have to be really damn fast because that is basically what's going to kill you. You've got so much tank, you can just survive really easily, but you will have a hard time doing a lot of DPS. You know, it it could actually be a good or worthwhile alternative to actually maybe replace one of the shield rigs I've got because I got a shield rig I think, and then just replace it with some a DPS rig. So that could be an alternative actually to also do a bit more DPS. I was thinking, I've got a tracking module, and actually I noticed that I only had a tech 1 tracking module before. I could have used a, a tech 2 or even compact one before, so that would have also helped. But now I'm using a compact one actually because I don't have enough space to be able to do damage or fit my MWD. The MWD has quite a hefty fitting requirement actually. We're not, we're not applying to this guy that well, okay. Let's just keep a range. Okay, there we go. So there we go, this guy's down, and one shot of this guy, boom. Okay, grab the loot loot down and we're making amazing time two and a half minutes the power of the mwd the power of the mwd but also it was an easy wave as well the rogue drone waves are known for being pretty fast with all the little hp we've got there let's go to the next room and let's see if we can make it in due time you know it'll be amazing if we finish under 15 minutes oof that'll be amazing let's go let's go the auto cannon seem to be making quick work of the rogue drones or at least the rogue drone frigates Okay, what do we have here? Lucid Deep Watches. This is going to be tough in terms of time due to the fact that these guys have so much HP. Let's take out the small crap first. Okay, we've got the Warden. Let's take out that guy because he's actually not to take out Spearfisher because Spearfisher is going to do quite a bit of... Um, he's going to do Scramblers and keep us locked in place. We don't want that to happen. Okay, let's go for this guy. Approach over having a bit of trouble tracking because we're just zooming around so fast. I think that's probably why we're having a bit of issue with tracking. Okay, go, go, go. Kill that guy. Good, good, good. Now we're gonna go for the warden. Web him. 
I don't I want to keep my velocity at somewhat of a speed because remember the deep watches have deadly missiles that go really slowly but if you stop or go very slowly they will catch up with you and that can be very dangerous because my gear has almost died actually to them because they're just so powerful those missiles that the deep watches have they're just amazing in terms of the DPS or astonishing not really amazing because it's not amazing when you die you know but that's good because we've got these uh, these uh, deviant automatic suppressor right here it's going to it's going to help with that. You know, all the missiles are going to get wrecked. Their missiles are going to get wrecked. Orbit, uh, let's say, one kilometer. We could actually turn off at MWD. Okay, let's go for this guy here. Web him so he's a bit slower. And I think we'll have enough base speed to be able to just outrun their missiles. And also, we've got the Deviant Automatic Suppressor that will help with it if any of the missiles do catch up with us. And each deep watch will go faster than the previous one because they're all remote repping each other. So now there are two of them remote repping this guy. When we've killed him, then there'll be only one remote rep. And then the last one, there'll be no one remote repping. So each one will go faster than the previous one. Deep watches, they really, like, you know how they, the rogue drum battleships, they were pretty powerful because just how much HP they have. So they're taking quite a long time. These guys, you know, three battleships you've got to chew through. The only good thing is that they're, they're already partially damaged. And that's actually really helpful because I think it has something to do with the lore that the sleepers are at war with the Triglavians. So probably these guys have already been like, it's the law is that there's some battle has already occurred. So these sleepers are just chilling here. They're already damaged. That's why they already got like, you know, a lot of their arm and structure miss missing. So that is also obviously helpful for us. You know, it would be really a pain if they had full structure really it would be pain. you can see these missiles here in the background you can see them th these uh, these guys here these are the missiles i was talking about it doesn't seem like they're able to catch up with me we're keeping a distance but if we do start taking the edge we're gonna have to i think we'll have to do a little pulse of the nwd just to get a bit of uh, speed up to up to par it doesn't seem like having any issue with the tracking you know going pretty well but i don't like the time here the time is going to be pretty pretty um bad here because of just how much hp we have to chew through but it's good that we've got the mwd so we're able to you know apply stuff very quickly very quickly we'll be able to start dishing out damage that saves a lot of time and we don't have to spend a lot hardly any time you know traveling to the gate you know the gate is always going to be so accessible with the mwd it's going to zoom past i think also we're pretty far how fast are we with the mwd Let's see now, 1.5. Okay, so we're not actually that fast. The gear that goes a lot faster, 1.7k a second. Oh wait, this guy's getting pretty close. Let's just use our MWD because I can see these missiles getting pretty close. See here, they're getting pretty close to me. <laughs> we're outrunning them. Haha, <laughs> you can't hit me, missile. You can't hit me. Sorry, man, but you can't hit me. I wonder if actually I can all the way with the MWD because it seems like we're, we're getting pretty good hits even with the MWD on. Let's see. Because if we get, I guess, like grazes, then that means we've got a bit of tracking issues. But if we keep getting hits and smashes, that's that's really okay. Yeah, we're getting a bit of grazes. Let's stop with the MWD because, yeah, glances are definitely not use the MWD because we're out tracking ourselves because we're going so fast. We're not able to do a full damage. It's a bit unfortunate right there. But I mean, hmm. Let's see. So 13 minutes, so seven minutes almost, we're pushing the seven minute mark. And we're almost, we're like about halfway or a little bit more than halfway. So I guess that's pretty good. That's pretty good, I will say. Though we had a really lucky wave in the beginning with that rogue drone swarm as well as the deep in auto smash suppressor making it even faster. So we were pretty lucky with that regard. I mean, if you imagine three deep watcher waves, that would not be nice. When it comes to this wave itself, we started about, I think we were at three minutes when we started the wave. So we've just gone over five minutes and oh no, it's four minutes. So it's not the best time. I mean, we took kind of we've taken down like two of them so if it was if we do that like the math a bit then we would have taken six minutes on the room and six minutes is actually not such a good time let's actually get close to this guy why are we just chilling out here let's do a little pulse the mwd get you know in range all about five one die out because then we'll do the maximal amount of damage when we're this close wreck this guy really hard i wonder how yeah, much effects actually because there's like we we're always always are going to be doing more damage when we get closer but there's like some math that like you do certain percentage more damage or something the closer you are because of how we're less outside our optimal range it's really important that we just keep that range because we just want to maximize the amount of damage as possible the more damage you do the faster we do the site the less risk we have of dying to time time is so important the broadsword is just it's the bane of the ship this ship doesn't have naturally a lot of dps because heavy interdiction cruisers in general are made to just be really tanky and tra uh, tackle platforms so that's really doing the job right in terms of tank you know we're getting really good tank but the damage is not the best and that's not really exactly what this ship is made for either it's not made to it's not made to kill stuff really it's made to hold down things for other people to kill like you know they can use the these really powerful scram modules that can have like uh it's collected infinite 
scram or something that it doesn't matter how many warp core scramblers you have or warp core stabilizers you have they will always be able to hold something down so they're made for tackling so they're not made for like they're made for sustaining and tackling they're not made for sustaining and killing and i guess that would be a good way thing to use like something like the munin that could be actually an alternative we could actually try the munin in a future video because the munin seems i really like the appearance of the munin as well so i wonder how much dps let's check here how much dps can we get from this Cannon. Let's see now. 220. I've got the yeah, 220 millimeters. I think is what we got. Go for this. Put the put the Republic Fleet EMP because I'll that'll be obviously what we're going to use. 316. Okay, he's dead. Let's go to the bioadaptive cache MWD on. Okay, so we finished it under 10 minutes. So that is that's pretty decent. But the actual time to do the room itself was not that amazing. It was pretty bad, I think. Okay, there we go. Then dead dead. Doesn't seem like our range is that good actually with the uh, only 14 kilometer fall off the the broad teams had a better range actually in fact. Let's see now gyro stabilizers. Gyro stable we got also some drones, so that's pretty nice. Okay, so it seems like our DPS is a bit better with the broadsword, plus we'll have the you know the um, extra DPS from the drones, so that's really helpful. Let's go into the transfer conduit and go to the next room. We don't have also as good resistances in the shields. It's so much better buffer in the shields and resistances. That's a bit unfortunate as well. So I think we'll probably survive this. We'll, oh, we're very likely we're going to complete this T5. But the only issue is that we've got a bit of... Uh, like we were only lucky in the beginning, you know. It's not that we actually did a really good job because of the NWD. We, uh, we were just lucky that we got that really easy room in the beginning. Let's go for this starving Danovic. Okay. Let's go for him. Yes, web him. Going to go down really quickly. <laughs> Damovic, you have no chance. We've got a lot of starvings on the grid, actually. Let's go for all the starvings, because we've got a lot of starvings, actually. Okay, let's go for this starving red mac. Turn off our MWD, actually. Or oh, actually, we just get a bit closer, and then we'll... When we web them, then we can just turn off our... Yeah, keep the MWD off. Oh, there's a lot of damage. You see that? That damage was pretty... That volley we got there was pretty big, actually. We we'll maybe have to overheat if this is doesn't turn out well, because... You can see that the damage is going to slowly ramp up and the oh this rock is in the way it's really annoying damage is going to slowly get up and we don't want that to happen because the damage from these vedmax can get pretty damn deadly if we don't have time that's an issue with this ship because you know it's it's gone it's not got the best dps so we're not able to kill them so quickly to re reduce the ramping up ability of the tree line so this could be quite deadly. We've got a lot of these starvings, but I think our capacitor is pretty good. We've got a pretty strong capacitor. I don't think it'll be much of an issue. Especially when we kill the starving red mac, it should not be much of an issue. Actually, we could we could potentially destroy this if we unlock this ghosting right here. Because it's a bit annoying. We've got we've got also tracking disruptors, so our range is going to be a bit worse. He's at 16 kilometers, really bad. We've got worse, even worse DPS now. Hmm. I wonder if we can actually we'll just take out this ghosting. Let's go, let's go for this starving actually because I want to just reduce the amount of DPS we're taking Okay, actually no the the ghosting dynamic is really close This will help a lot with our DPS if we take him out first. Let's take him out Okay be, It should be pretty easy as well since he's really close. So we're doing quite a bit of damage to him All right, wreck you wreck you little kid Let's see if we can lock up the anchoring as well Okay, go for this guy now Mm -hmm. We've got an anchoring over here. The anchoring will help us get close, but I would like to actually destroy this this starting Vedmac as soon as possible. We can see here our capacitor is not doing that well, but still we're holding up. But it's it's, it's going down and down by the by the minute, and it's really difficult when you're in like a kind of brawly ship like I am. Oh, we're taking a lot of shield damage there, but we got our capacitors going up really quickly. Now that's the thing with the active tank. It's really good because you can like stop a little bit if you want to just get your capacitor back you can like pulse it a bit and play around with it it really is um it's really like very flexible you have to manage it a lot but it can you can work wonders you can also overheat it if we really need to but this red max is going down so let's take out the because now i think the dps will be very it'll be stabilizing a lot now that that red max down there's only one red max left let's go for the rest of the starvings we take out the anchoring now and with anchoring is down we'll be able to smwd down to these guys just wreck them really hard Wreck you, anchoring Damovic. Get a bit closer to him if we can. Okay, yeah, there we go. Dead, dead, dead. Let's go with the starving now. We can use our WD to get a bit closer. Wreck this guy. All right, broadsword con. Full force. Full speed ahead. Wreck his face. <laughs> Look how quickly he went down. 
Okay, now to this guy. I reckon use the Webify just to get a bit closer. We've got a little bit of speed left from that one cycle of the MWD. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to go for the VEDMAC because we've basically got all dangerous EO off the grid. So now we're just going to go for DPS. So DPS is basically on thing. And honestly, there's no DPS left. They'll pose a threat to us, but just wanted to remove as much as possible, you know. And that is in the VEDMAC, obviously. The VEDMACs have so much DPS. They have they're really ramped up. In fact, I think they even had more at one point, but they nerfed them actually. Because I remember in the beginning, apparently people were saying that the dead Vedmax had some like they messed up the damage multiplier or something like that. So they were doing so much DPS. People were getting wrecked. They were like even stronger than Leshaks. Pretty scary, actually. Pretty scary, I must say. Uh, the Leshaks, though, are now I think they are pretty, pretty a lot, quite a bit stronger than the Vedmax. All right, take him out. Dead, dead, dead. Striking Damovic. Let's go for him. I'm gonna just MWD into his face. Hey, come here, man. You gonna die? I'm gonna get you, old Damovic. You, you, I'm here to purge all the Triglavians from this realm, because you have been attacking my miners too much. So this is what you get. This is what happens when you attack my innocent miners. You know, I'm just chilling there in a belt in my procurer, and then these Damovics just come and just attack me. This is payback. This is payback. I'm coming to their realm and I'm gonna take the fight to them because these scrubs really think that they can just mess with me like that. Okay. Just shoot this guy, please. Reload. Let's see now. What is time now? 15, just over 15 minutes. Okay. I, I, honestly, I don't think the time is at all that good. It was not, it was a tiny bit, I felt like a tiny bit better maybe because of the MWD, but it was not at all. Like, look, we're just, just over 15 minutes. And we got a really lucky wave in the beginning. Like that world drone wave hardly took any time at all. Like it was only like two or th three minutes. So we got really lucky with that. So, I mean, if we got three bad waves in a row, it would have been, you know, obviously a completely different story. Let's just MWD away. But this is the kind of time you save. You see here, we are, we are like saving a lot of time when we are cruising this, these speeds, getting four of them backwards from them. And we're going like almost three times quicker than our afterburner. It's just so much, so useful, you know, to be able to just cruise around like this. Let's grab the loot here. You know, obviously it's going to be bad loot. There's never, never really particularly good loot in the, in the T5s really. The test server obviously doesn't really matter, but I just it's interesting to see what kind of loot we would have potentially got if we were actually on the live server. Let's go to the origin conduit and go back to safety. Go back to safety. He, okay, so let's see now. We did it in not even six, even more than 16 minutes. So, I mean, that's really bad actually. We could have probably, I mean, if like say it was three minutes, so then maybe the time left from that would be about like uh, 13 minutes. And if you divide six thirteen by two, that'll be like six and a half something. Six and a half times three. If we did the same speed as those two slow waves for all three waves, we probably probably died. So honestly, I mean the broadsword is a really good ship. I think it is a really good ship in terms of its tank, but I don't think it's made for the abyssal things, and it makes sense. The, we could probably try the moon in next, actually. But the broadsword doesn't seem like it just the, the, the lack of DPS is just it's just trouble. You need to have, I would need to have probably like 600 DPS and also the range just doesn't help as well. I mean, even though we've got the MWD, it still takes a bit of time to cruise in. It would have helped a lot if we had a bit of a bigger range with this as well. The, the really, the DPS, it just doesn't really cut it. It doesn't really cut it at all, actually. We would be able to easily, you know, go and wreck these if we had a bit more DPS, but it just doesn't cut it. You know, a 700 DPS gear is really what, you know, works really well. Uh, it's just unfortunate that this ship can't pack it. I mean, it makes sense that heavy interdiction cruisers are not made to do a lot of DPS. They're made to just tank and scram or tackle, and that's really where it shines at. And that's not really so useful in the Abyss, apart from the tanky part, obviously. An amazing capacitor. Anyway, this is, video is over now. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.